Well, that is all the information we have for you on this Tuesday, August 31st, 2010. We're going to go back over to Father and Jay with more of This is the Day. And we are back here with John Torado. And before, John, I get to you, I just want to read this because we have a number of great letters up here. Hope you're, This is from Alexis. She's a CCD student, and she wrote this letter. I hope your studies are coming along well. All your hard work will eventually pay off as you fulfill your goal as a priest. What are you looking forward to most as a priest? What do you think the greatest challenge of priesthood will be? Our church um, and school's priest is leaving on February 21st to go to a missionary. We are going to have a going away mass for him on Wednesday. We're having a mass for Ash Wednesday. So it's clear to me, you know, just reading these, and I read a lot of the letters, John, that these kids are doing a great thing. Tell us about the project you're working on. Huh? In the seminary and letter program, uh, my job is to coordinate um, local Knights of Columbus councils. They do an outstanding job mm -hmm. who approach Catholic schools. They, um, they, they speak to the principals, and they speak to the teachers, and they ask the students uh, to write letters of support and encouragement and offers of prayer to, um, you know, to Catholic seminarians. Um, letters have been sent to um, uh, Pontifical North American College in, in Rome to uh, to uh, Blessed John Seminary in, in, in Weston, you know, Catholic University, Seat, Seton Hall, um, really all over the world. And, uh, and we started sending letters to a Dominican convent in, in, in Michigan. This is so, as I was saying earlier, John, so typical of the Knights of Columbus uh, to do something like this to encourage vocations. Was this your own idea? Was it something that you came up with, the members of the council? Wh where did this all originate? Um, it, it started uh, over 10 years ago, okay. um, and it, the, the genesis of the project uh, uh, began re really with uh, the, you know the, sh the shortage of priests. I mean, mm -hmm. with, the, um, with the average age of our, of our priests being 59, with the, uh, with the population of priests being one half of it uh, was in the 1960s, I mean, something has to be done you know, to just you know, plant that seed to, you know, you know, to really encourage vocations. Mm -hmm. What has been the response of the letters? Uh, d how about the priest who received them? And, and it goes more than that, I think, uh, or the, the people, the seminarians. And what about the kids who write them? What's been this whole response? Okay. Um, the response overall, and you know, we've been doing this, this program for uh, 10 years. Oh, okay. yeah. um, you know, has, you know, has, all, has been overall very good. I mean, I've, get, I've gotten thank you letters uh, from Rome. I've, um, you know, I had the uh, honor and privilege of going to a sixth grade class and, and, and addressing the kids and saying, and, you know, look what your good works have, have done. Um, I've, I've gotten thank you letters from, you know, from deans at Seton Hall. Um, it's, uh, it, you know, it does a lot of good for, you know, for not that much effort and expense. Mm -hmm. You know, many of these letters have been written by young children, uh, boys and girls, uh, presumably in class, either in religious education class or parochial school class. What kind of an impact really can it have on children so young? Well, you know, they feel that um, uh, they're, they're encouraging uh, um, our future priest. Um, they know the value of, of, the, of the priest in, you know, in our church, even, you know, even at a very young age. You, you know, you can could, you could see from some of the quotes here. Uh, and, um, and in the past year, just in the past year alone, 1,200 letters and cards uh, were sent out. Um, over the past decade, on thousands of letters and car cards were forwarded. Like, a, a lot of good has been done. Mm -hmm. you know, in today's world, let's face it, the past 10 years have not been easy for priests. Uh, have you found that this has been a boost, not only to the seminarians, but to priests in general, knowing that these young students, and they're, they're young students, are out there and recognize, as you said, the value of what they're doing and how important they are, the priests and seminarians are, to their lives and their faith lives. Right, right. Other, um, there's a number of priests that, that know about the program and, you know, and even though it's designed for, for seminarians, they get a lot of, you know, the, you know, the benefit of, of this as well by, by, seeing so, by seeing some of the inspiring words. Mm -hmm. You know, like when, it, when an eighth grader says something like, the world needs you to become a priest. Never let God leave your life or my encouragement leave your heart. I mean, those words, you know, have a, a sense of the profound about them. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, really from the mouths of babes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Words are powerful. They certainly are. And yeah. photographs are, too. I have a great picture here of a, <laughs> a young uh, boy and a young girl in a, 
in a, in a sense, dressed up as a priest and a nun by uh, stepping behind a stand-up thing. And uh, it's interesting to see that, because I wonder if this project would ever have uh, the power to uh, invoke or, or uh, help a young boy or young girl portray themselves in their minds as a priest and foster a vocation. Right. That's, yeah, that, that's one of the side, side benefits. I mean, you know, the... Um, the, you know, the, the, the students you know, see themselves planting that seed. You know, that was an associated program where it's kind of like a breakfast with Santa thing, where after, after the mass is at my parish, um, you know, we took the Polaroids of the kids behind the wooden bodies of priests and nuns, and, you know, and, you know, and that got a great response as well. I mean, you know, that, pic you know, that picture was taken in my home parish in St. Jude's in Blackwood. I mean, in, in, in my diocese, um, we, have, uh, we had 14 seminarians. Um, three of them were on leave of absence. Um, in the past two years, we've gone from um, 120 parishes and we're down to 60 parishes. I mean, my, my, the church where that picture was taken, where I, you know, where I worshiped for 50 years, was closed. I mean, I can remember as a boy just walking through the streets with my cassock and surplus uh, to church to serve mass as an altar boy. It was where my mother's funeral was. Um, it was. It was closed. Um, I, I, you know, and I had to, you know, go to a new parish after 50 years. Why? Because of the shortage of mm -hmm. priests. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it, it's, it's a really significant problem as, you know, affecting the church, as you know. Mm -hmm. And you've, what I like about it, though, is instead of you just lamenting about that, you've decided to do something about it. Now, you have a, a, a whole book full of letters. What are some of the, the letters that you've, you have, maybe you have a few examples in there, of yeah. things the kids have written that, that really are inspiring? Okay. Um, Alexis wrote, uh, priests are wonderful people. They devote their life and their <coughs> love to God. They sacrifice everything to spread the word of God. We have, we have younger students here. Um, I don't know if we get this on camera, but, you know, you know, with, the, you know, with, you know, a hand turkey for, you know, for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thank you for your devotion to God and the church. I hope you have, I hope you enjoy your turkey. Um, we have uh, this letter here where it's Merry Christmas, um, we're praying for you as you're preparing to become a priest. The, the children, you know, even at this age, I mean, this is written by an eight or a nine-year-old, they know the value of the priest in their life. Mm -hmm. And the whole community, too. It, I think one of the important lessons we all can share here that what you're doing down in New Jersey and the wonderful job that the Knights are doing down in New Jersey is that we have to come together as a community to support these vocations and to support priests uh, is it a whole community effort to get this done? Um, it, it's a community effort, uh, you know, by a lot of councils, um, you, know, you know, through CCD programs, uh, through, um, you know, through Catholic schools. Um, it, you know, the, the shortage of vocations, and, you, know, you know, including the shortage of nuns, you know, is, is causing our Catholic schools to, um, to have to hire lay teachers. I mean, the... Um, uh, the the um, the tuition at 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 the, the, at the grade school where I attended okay is now over five thousand dollars a year. A lot of families just simply just can't afford it, and and um, so future generations just won't have that rich Catholic experience you know, of Catholic school. And it, um, you know, and of course and of course Catholic schools are declining you know because of you know Catholic schools are closing because of decline in enrollment. Mm -hmm. What, uh, what could people do to learn more about this, John? Um, okay. To, to learn more about this, um, you know, they could, they could contact me. Um, they could, uh, uh, but um, what I most suggest, you know, is, is that they offer prayer for vocations. And, and um, they, can, uh, they can conduct a seminary and letter program in their own community. It's, it's really not that much effort, and it's not that much expense. I think it does a lot of good. Mm. Well, we appreciate you being with us today. and know everyone here at Catholic TV will have you in our prayers, and we are huge supporters of priests. They are so wonderful to Catholic TV. Thanks for driving all the way up from New Jersey to be with us. Happy. And we will be right back with more of This is the Day right after this. Mm -hmm.